study or the previous video, you'll know what my study is about. And we're using Sona this time rather than Boz. This is what most people use and then you need to download your survey responses. Um, there's only one way of downloading it, which is through Excel. You want all dates and press submit. And wait for it to download. Open it up. Okay, it's not this one. But it's basically the same thing. So it opens up like this. It comes out exactly the way you wrote it. So you've got the whole four questions at the top and however you wrote your answers. These three columns you can completely delete or ignore it or whatever or move everything across. Because you can just like this. Drag it over here and then replace it. But obviously um do that with the whole section. I just don't want to do it because I've got a lot of participants. Um, but this duration is how many minutes they spent on your questionnaire. Like this guy spent one minute and it's supposed to be one credit per minute and I gave 20. So anyway, let me show you how to... So this is one I've already done. So I want to... This left hand side is my codes, including these ones, and this right hand side is my values. So if I highlight it like this, you can see in the top right, top left, I named this box ethnic. And I've got sex and terms, and I find replaces a different uh, formula, which I'll show you how to do. So this is what I've downloaded, highlighted in yellow, is what I'm changing. This is my finished product. You see the numbers. You can also see that these are changed, but I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so to get to this, the formula is equals P lookup, that bracket and thingy, and then you basically put in the other tab, which is what you downloaded. Mine is just labeled two because I downloaded it too many times. And then this E4 is what area I've chose. Now you should. You should do this one actually. Just the first one underneath. So mine is E3. Then since this is about sex, I'm referring back to sex for my data. So this one. It's either male or female. And then you want two and zero. So this two and zero basically means like um, column A and B and it's right next to it. So if you wrote this um, if you wrote these um, codes and values over here, it won't be 2 and 0. So just write in column A and B and you're fine. You can use 2 and 0 for every single one. So you can see here, it's also 2 and 0, 2 and 0, and it's referring back to the same. The only thing that's changing is the square it's in. So G3, this one's H3, and this formula bar is also changing because it's referring back to which coding area you want, so ethnic and terms. So once you've written that out, you don't have to do it per box, so you can go to this bottom right, you get this like little arrow, and you drag it down, and it'll just change it for you. Easy as that. Now, I'll show you how I made all these into numbers as well. So I am changing these to numbers. There's a lot more, but I just haven't written them. So let's start with this one. Let's go here, find and select. Now I'm going to replace it. You can normally select it, but I'll just type it. So let's do find what. So you want to find all of the ones all the time, which is referring to this. And you want to replace that all with one. So everything is numbers because that's how SPSS takes it. And you press replace all. Do that. 86 replacements. And then you can do the same with these ones. 7, never. I want to change that to 7. What should change? 619 replacements 
and just make sure you do it with every single one so the whole thing is numbers. So you do that with the whole thing and then it will all change into numbers just like the finished product. Obviously I only did it on this page because I wanted to show you how to do it. So if you did the formulas on these three, these numbers wouldn't have been changed and you would just do that same final select on this area. And then you just have all of these. It's very good, especially when you have a mass database. Like, I have so many participants. There are other formulas you can use, but this is the easiest one because you can put a lot of different codes and areas that you want in one database. And now I can just copy and paste it straight into SPSS in the data view. So there's my numbers. And you can actually move these around. Oops. You can move them around into the correct, like, into the same order as this. So you don't have to keep changing it around. And I'll show you in a separate video on how to input these into the same coding 